So, with the digital learning thresholds, they've been designed to take account of the range of tools that we have available through our learning management system, but also take account of the things that we know make a difference for student learning. Students are tight for time, so are staff. Students find it tough to get to campus sometimes. They need to have learning available to them pretty much at times and places that suit them. And teachers need that flexibility too. So by knowing what the digital learning thresholds are, we can actually think about which are the tools that are relevant for my students, my discipline, and my preferred way of teaching. So that as we head towards each digital learning threshold, whether it's about making sure that certain information is readily available on the learning space, or whether it's about providing students with different ways of interacting by giving them opportunities to discuss together, discuss with the teacher, co-create a resource, submit online, receive feedback online, or get easy links to other resources, we know that those are going to be things that will support our students because of the nature of our discipline, the resources our students need, the way that we teach, and the standards of our particular discipline. So we've got some particular examples of how we can make life easy. Anyone searching the net knows how awful it is if you're trying to find a key piece of information and you have to search in 10 different places. If you know that you can go to your subject's Moodle space and get direct access to all of the questions that are relevant to your engaging in that subject as a student, how wonderful would that be? Students aren't going to get conflicting information, they're going to have a one-stop shop for most of the fairly mundane types of information they need and a starting point for their own research. Those are all good things that are embedded in that first set of digital learning thresholds. And the most adventurous and exciting bit for me are all of the other tools that we can use to engage students in discussion, interaction, thinking, debating, and submitting and receiving feedback online.